you've got to take into context the audience, the time that that audience was receiving the message, the relevance of that message to the audience in that day, and then the context of the whole book or the whole letter that was written. And in this situation, you, you've got in this particular chapter, which relates to the whole book, um, Peter is trying to explain why there is persecution and why people are being persecuted. And in the context of that persecution is not going to last forever. There is Jesus is coming. And in that coming, he is going to bring an end to the religious and political system, ultimately. But originally the political system, the religious system, which was the end of the old covenant. So the context here is the end of the old covenant, which is coming. So in that point, it's like when you hear the word judgment, the word judgment is not a negative thing saying judging to death or judging negatively. So judgment in terms of uh, the household of God um, was known, therefore, to the Jewish people to be the old covenant people of God. Now, then when we're in the new covenant, you have the new temple of the Holy Spirit, the household of God. So you've got this old and new in conflict with one another. And therefore, there's a lot of confusion. So Peter was trying to clear up the confusion in this. And also, therefore, well, who are the household of God now? Having Paul taught that there is only one new man in Christ, there is no Jew nor Gentile. Then how do you explain this? And this is what was going on in this in these times. So there was a lot of persecution leading up to the end of the old covenant when Jesus finally came to bring that to an end in AD 70. So this is when this was written before that point, looking forward to this. Now, then he's looking to differentiate between those who are following Jesus and those who are not yet following Jesus. And he put that in terms of obeying the gospel of God. Um, in, in the context is this is no longer ongoing because that judgment has been passed. The household of God was found innocent and the old covenant system was found guilty. In other words, it was found it didn't work. So the judgment was between the old and the new. And when God was looking at the new, he was looking to make sure, you know, the judgment of God's house was you're operating in the new and not the old. Because you can't operate under the old system of law and try and keep the law and live in grace. So this is a whole whole process in that sense. But if you if you go back to the beginning of the uh, chapter and you look at the whole thing that was going on, the Gentiles and their behavior and everything else. Um, it also says there um, uh, that the gospel for this purpose has been preached even to those who are dead. In other words, those who don't yet know that they're alive in Christ, that they, they may be judged in the flesh as people. So in other words, their behavior will be judged by others as being not acceptable or acceptable. But in the spirit, according to the will of God and the court, the will in God is that he's already reconciled everyone in Christ. And therefore, everyone is born from above in Christ and everyone's included in Christ. That is God's judgment. So on the basis of the cross, the judgment is made. Everyone has been declared, declared innocent. Everyone has been declared righteous, but those don't know it yet. So they're still operating according to the futility of their own minds. Now, in one sense, this whole thing is over, but people are still in that sense today living in a unrealized uh belief in what it is that god has done for them so those who know jesus and know what god has done are living in the good of that or partially it depending on what their religious backgrounds are and what how much mixture of covenants there are but those who don't know it yet are living as if that isn't true so jesus has done everything through the cross the cross is a finished work everyone's born from above the holy spirit is in everybody looking to reveal jesus but people are still unrenewed in their minds and still obviously operating as if that wasn't true. So the judgment has been passed because of the cross. Everyone's been found innocent. The sin of the world was taken away. Everyone was reconciled to, to, to God um, through what Jesus did. God holds nothing against anyone, but people live according to their own mindset. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. So if you think you're separated from God, you live in a separated state, even though that's not true from God's perspective, but we make it true from ours. So take into context 
judgment being a verdict that was passed and the verdict was passed because of the cross innocent to all of creation therefore all of the creation can come into a restored state as soon as they come into a realization of what has already happened not what needs to happen in the future so people are still living in that today but this actual context of what peter wrote was in the context of the coming soon end of the old covenant where jesus was going to come as he promised in that generation to bring an end to the old covenant the last days the last day sort of the sort of imminent coming um and now he's already come all that time ago and we're now seeing the gospel fill the earth um so we're in that period of the restoration of all things there's still a lot to do yet and people still need to be brought into that revelation but if we keep judging them under the old covenant judgment of your sinners then they're going to keep behaving like sinners so our judgment must be to life and not death in accordance to the judgment that god has already made but religion doesn't judge that way religion judge on behaviors so i'd encourage you to not judge according to the flesh according to the behaviors but according to the spirit that their spirit is already alive and we can call forth their spirit to come into a relationship with God by treating them the same way that God does inclusively and not exclusively. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.